Mm -hmm. So um, in the segment of Share Your Workspace, the idea behind it is that your workspace is not only your physical space, but also your mind space. So where your visualizations, thoughts, and ideas flourish. And so could you share with us or kind of show us your workspace and talk about it some more? Yeah, of course. Um, so this is the space I'm currently occupying. At the top here, I'll just shift the screen. Um, I'm working on a triptych commission piece. This is for a walk-in closet in London. The pieces within, uh, the subject matter within the pieces are the belongings of my client. And so once I get back to London, I'll be taking these ideally completed with me and they will go directly into the closet where they're designed to hang. Oh, wow. So this is a, so there's some of us who will be joining uh, via a podcast, so they won't be seeing the video, but uh, the only the audio segment. So could you just do a little bit of a visual description of them? Um, because it sounds a little bit meta, like it seems like these are belongings in the closet and there will be uh, paintings hanging in that same closet behind these um, objects. Okay, so visually these pieces um, act as a triptych. They hold the belongings of my clients closet, as I mentioned, where this, where these pieces will hang. And they showcase three designer bags, as well as a couple of designer items. They each have shoes in place and they sit atop kind of a pedestal that's either books, um, art artist books or design books, even the World of Wine Atlas I've tucked in there, of course. Um, I do like to add a little bit of wine into each element of my work. And one is on a box. And so the way the triptych acts is the centerpiece is kind of, um, it's Hermes. And so Hermes as a designer is quite uh, highly regarded. So I've decided to showcase this front and center and you sort of look up to the bag. It's got this sort of statuesque demeanor to it. And then it's flanked by a Chanel and a Gucci bag. And these are uh, have elements around them that sort of dictate the character of the bag. And these all really, it's quite interesting because they do act as individual self-portraits of the, of the clients. And so on the left is the Gucci bag with um, thickly platformed Louboutins. And so the character of the Gucci bag in this one is has these flowers um, that I'm doing in kind of a painterly watercolor sort of dripping quality. They've got studs within the bag. And so the whole sort of subject of this piece is, is not in your face, but it's a little bit harder, um, like deeper sort of paint. And then the one on the right is Chanel. It's got thinner shoes um, that are referencing the Gucci to the left, but it's more delicately done. And that also, I think, kind of evokes the character of that piece. So the bag's more subdued. It doesn't have anything on it. Um, it's more of a classy feel to it. So it sort of incorporates kind of the element of um, every occasion that you'd probably wear these, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'd be curious of how they're going to be hung or displayed later, if it'll be the portrait of these objects with the object beside them, or how she's going to decide that that's going to be interesting. Oh, yes, yeah, so they're going to, um, they've got this lovely space uh, within her walk-in closet that we, we sort of design them in situ and I've just unfortunately because I'm in Canada I've had to bring them here to paint them otherwise I, I do like to kind of go back and forth a little bit make sure that they're working really well with the space but I've taken enough photographs and they're sort of inset into this space beneath um, well they atop a love seat and so I'm going to bring in some of the colors of that at the end they'll transform a little bit further but essentially there's these three panels um, on the top of the ceiling in this area. And they sort of all, as you stand, everything has a perspective, right? So they sort of lead in, and then that will focus on these three pieces that will hang sort of as you see atop the, um, the seat. Nice. Thank you for sharing. And how about the one behind you? So as you're talking, I feel like I see a curtain sweep beside your, <laughs> behind your face. Um, so yeah, what about that piece? And is that just yes. like, is that like a curtain coming out or is that like a visual illusion? It's, so it's not a, a trompe l'oeil. How do you say that? A trompe l'oeil? 
It is actually a curtain coming out. It's the canvas that I'm using. Um, I'll show you. Just got my dog sitting on my lap. <laughs> So we'll get out of the way. This piece here is one that I've stretched entirely and then I've left the curtain hanging. So I'm working back into it in a looser fashion, but I'm creating this um, element of ideally the wind coming through the window situated in the back and giving this feel of direction within the air, but also movement on the surface of the table. I'm doing a playful element with some shoes. Yes, it's really cool seeing it from here because of um, the positioning of the, like, the window and the curtain. It feels like we can sense the wind coming through. Yeah, I should probably be doing this while I'm talking. Does that sound like wind? Yeah, great. And then, so for your workspace now, are there like certain things of your routine that has changed while you're back here as opposed to when you were creating back in London? Yeah, completely. I I feel like my routine is completely off balance at the moment, and I'm sure I'm not alone entirely in feeling that way. A lot of us have had to adapt our uh, work situations, and um, for that reason, I am trying to still kind of establish that structure. I'm also living back home with my parents, and I don't get to see them as much, so it's a balance of trying to spend some time with them, but also commit to my work and make sure that I'm getting things done throughout the day. So my routine basically starts with coffee and walking the dog, and then it evolves from there quite organically. Thanks so much for tuning in. We would love to hear your thoughts or questions. Please let us know in the comments and review section, and we'll try to cover it in the next sessions. If you enjoy this content, please share and subscribe for more episodes. For latest updates, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Art Focus Exchanges.